The panic and havoc seen in the Russian Urals last winter when a meteor the size of a house exploded in the skies, well, we could be set for a repeat. Scientists say the huge rock might not have been flying solo as first thought, but rather as part of a group of asteroids which still pose a threat to Earth. RT's Lindsay France now joining me live to, uh, to tell us uh, more about this. Uh, Lindsay, good to see you. Oh gosh, let the panic begin. But before we get into what could be what some are already calling the buddies of this <laughs> asteroid that came down earlier this year, can you remind us exactly what happened back in February? Yeah, that's right, Rory. And who can forget uh, the, the asteroid on the 15th of February hit around 9.20 local time. Uh, an 11,000 ton rock, 80, uh, 18 meters wide, crashed into Chelyabinsk, of course, the mountains that separate Europe and Asia. We've got some sound of what the Russian dash camera, so widely used in this country, actually caught uh, that very uh, important morning, February 15th. Let's listen to what we've got. Very dramatic video there, uh, and and when that story came out, people were very very shocked because we all wanted to know why it wasn't detected, and it scared obviously a lot of people. No one was killed in this; uh, more than a thousand were injured, but no one lost their lives, and that was what uh, was such a shock to so many in this situation. And that is the fear: is this went undetected. So that's why scientists are trying to figure out if there are more possibly uh, on on their way. I mean, certainly, Lindsay, it, it was an early, mor early morning commute when this was going of on. Of course. Uh, you were at work. I was here at work as mm -hmm. well. Bloggers were going ballistic mm -hmm. over this. And when you were just showing the footage there of windows exploding from buildings there, I suppose the sonic boom or whatever mm -hmm. it is, I mean, this was a monster. It was huge. And it caused massive chaos and a fair amount of panic as well. The, the dash cam videos are just absolutely startling. But the news today, Lindsay, is apparently that monster rock may not have been alone. Exactly. Now, it is what scientists are calling sibling asteroids. And here's how it works. So, uh, as I mentioned, the, the asteroid went undetected, obviously frightening everyone. And so what scientists did is they ran, uh, they ran uh, simulate billions of simulations to find uh, sibling asteroids that may have been on a similar orbital path to the one that hit in Chelyabinsk. Look at that. It's just astonishing. And uh, what they found is nearly 20 different uh, asteroids that are on this, sim this similar path. Uh, they, they span between five and 200 meters across, and they could uh, one day follow their sibling to Earth if uh, scientists, uh, if, if they are actually following uh, this, this asteroid on, on its similar path. Now, scientists do think it broke up. The large asteroid itself broke up about 40,000 years ago, creating all of these other rocks that are floating through space. But don't panic just yet, because scientists do also say that they haven't gotten a good two-year chunk of time to monitor these asteroids. They've only, only gotten a very short amount of time to look at their orbital path. And not only that, but the gravitational pull of various planets could knock uh, these rocks off of, of, their, of their path. So it doesn't necessarily mean that Russia is going to see another one of these dramatic events anytime soon, but scientists are on the case. Although 20 similar asteroids floating through space on the similar path, that, that, doesn't, that doesn't sound nice. Lindsay So, so as, as good as the world's uh, telescopes are, national security and all that kind of stuff, they can spy on you doing anything in here, the, but they can't tell us when these it's, guys are going to hit. It's disheartening, isn't it? It's pathetic. I'll go, I'll go check uh, Twitter, see if they're uh, releasing any news. Lindsay France, good Doubt luck to you. Though. Good all luck right. to you. Cheers Thanks for that. Hello everyone, this is Dr. Dennis, and I want to welcome you to this special presentation. It's probably the most important that you have, will hear, will ever hear, because it affects all of us, everybody in the world. And I just learned about that issue this morning, and I thought we better get some information out to everyone and put it in archives so you can send your friends to the site, have them update themselves. We are talking about, folks, a major, major event that has been suppressed through the media 
and through all information outlets. I have with me a specialist who is totally knowledgeable. I'll ask her to explain her background. Uh, we're not going to use names at this point, but there are some pictures that will be attached probably later on. So you will be able to access those, and he will be dis she will be describing those things as we go. Um, if you're on the Internet, you will be able to see the pictures <clears throat> as she goes along. I want to turn the time over now to a specialist who has considerable expertise, uh, enough to impress me with the background and the knowledge that she has regarding this event. Folks, I can't urge you enough to contact your friends and family. Let them know about this immediately. Time is of the essence. In fact, we are out of time now to prepare for this. Okay, um, please proceed. Thank you for being with us. Thank you. My name is Patty Broussard, uh, seven years in the military, former sergeant, missile systems, communications, satellite uplinks, that sort of thing. Did a lot of work for NASA, um, as well as places like Lockheed Martin, Polaris, and whatnot. Built robots, all that. We currently have inbound our second son. We are a, a dual sun system. Our second son it comes around every, you know, 32 to 3,600 years. There's been a cataclysm that is why the remains of the pyramids and whatnot have been left behind during each successive. There's been five of them that we know of. Anyhow, our second sun is inbound with seven planets. Now, NASA said it was true. The sun is not going to come into system. In other words, it's not going to come in and plow into planets or anything. What it is going to do is it's got seven planets, and their orbits overlap ours. And, and this needs to be prepared for as best you can. The dust that's being pushed ahead of it's already hitting us. And when it ramps up to enough of a impact, like it's doing to Mars right now, we're going to lose our electric grid. So if the electric grid goes down, we lose all our nuclear power plants. You need to prepare for that. Basically, it's underground um, or under Earth at, at the minimum. The reason You're for that is... You're talking about surviving the event. Surviving. We need to go underground or under Earth, okay? The reason why is a pole shift has already started. It's going to complete during this event that's coming up. August is the month that things start getting really bad. They say August through November, roughly. But it's going to be six years of bad times. The reason why you need to be underground or in a cave or something of that nature, when the pole shift goes, we lose our magnetic shield. That means UVA, UVB, UV see coming directly from the sun, you know, full blast, just like it is on Mars right now. It's going to be hitting the surface. You don't want to be out in that. As will microwaves from the sun. Question, why have not we been informed about this? Fifty years ago, NASA informed them of this. They built dumps, deep underground military facilities. They have enough room for the elite and the government. They've been building them for 50 years. That's where they're planning on hiding, and the heck with us. And they've been storing food and oxygen, and the past two years they've been running the plants that make nuclear fuel rods to power their dumps, 300 tons a year each. And actually, it's the making of the nuclear fuel rods is what destroyed the ozone because they are exempt from the CFC laws. So they're going to leave the public on their own. Right now, as of today, 
they are stationing, stationing our troops around the dumb entrances. And they've brought troops in from Israel and from Russia to deal with the public, because they won't be afraid to shoot at you. Do not riot. Do, that's what they want. Obama wants to institute martial law to round up any people who protest and put them in the FEMA camps. That's what they were built for. So they've known about all of this for a long time. They've prepared for themselves, and they're planning the extermination of the rest of us. They want 500,000 people. That's on the Georgia Guidestone that they built. And they want complete, utter control over whoever's left, which means getting checked. Chipped meaning putting one of their chips in us so, neck or otherwise so they know where we are. They know where you are. They know um, a lot more than that, which I'm not even going to get into this because it's not, it's not relevant as far as mind control and all that. They have that ability. Okay. Uh, so you were going to go into evidence of how you know all this is, is occurring. I have access to just about every satellite we have in orbit. And I remotely took over a, um, an entire observatory and used a telescope and took pictures. NASA took pictures, too. But they only took pictures and said only the, you know, the, the sun is going to go around the system. And that is true. But they lied via omission because they didn't mention the seven planets around it which I point out in some of these pictures I took. I, is uh, there any other way I can get more pictures out there? Yeah, we'll add them later. Okay. Questions? Um, okay. Get the first picture up. Uh, we're... We're going to pull up the pictures now so I can see them and we can ask questions. Okay. These are the ones that they will be able to see if they're listening now or on the rebroadcast, and you can add more. The problem is we need to put labels on them so we know what we're looking at. Okay. The thermographic one, which is the, the blue one, one with the blue background and all the red on it, it shows three very hot objects. The one on the top, the middle, top the smallest one, that's Jupiter. And our sun is not in that picture at all, other than to say the biggest one is our second sun. The object to the right, that is the one that's bigger than Jupiter by at least four times. I won't be able to tell until it actually crosses through Jupiter's orbit because these are still outside of Jupiter's orbit but they are pushing a lot of debris, all that red stuff. That's hitting Mars already. It's being bombarded. I've, I've put pictures up of Mars, of the debris hitting its atmosphere, what little it has of it, as well Is as that picture the, uh, the rover. picture with the white rings? That one there. That's the pole of Mars taken from orbit. But the one with the, the hole in the center, that's the debris hitting Mars' atmosphere causing electromagnetic discharge. Yeah, that's what's going to happen here. Only worse, because we have an actual atmosphere. And a lot of electric oh, stuff running around on the ground, telephone poles are going to catch fire. And the wires on them will melt and hit the ground. This is already happening. And wood houses, you said, will just burn up? Eventually, yeah. 